Fill your day with joy and happiness here on 90.9 FM, Radio Baha'i. Streaming at RadioBaha'i.us. Celebrating 40 years of sending you love, peace, and unity, this is 90.9 FM, Radio Baha'i. What's going on? It is yours truly, TJ Jones, and I have a special guest with me here today. And she's here to talk to us a little bit about the fourth annual Juneteenth event, a uh, soul food uh, festival that's going to be taking place uh, this Saturday uh, on June 15th. Uh, she's a part of the Go Get Your You Foundation, and she's here to talk to us a little bit about that event. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Margaret Harriet. Margaret, how you doing? Good morning. I am doing well. How about you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Really do appreciate it. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Um, and uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about the fourth annual Juneteenth Soul Food Festival that's going to take place in Conway. But before we get into that, let's uh, let everyone know a little bit about you. Uh, if you can introduce yourself and uh, tell us uh, a little bit about your background. OK, um, I am born and raised in, in Conway. Uh, a army veteran of two years, um, single mom of three beautiful kids. And um, I went in the military to be a musician and that didn't happen. And, and um, I got out and I got into the food industry. Um, I started selling dinners to businesses back in 2004, you know, to make money to pay bills for my household and um I liked it. I loved it and went to school and went to culinary arts school and um, graduated and started a catering business with the goal of of opening my first restaurant. Um, did that and life happened and COVID happened and my restaurant closed. After my restaurant closed, uh, I come to real I came to realize that there was not a lot of help for veterans um, during during the, the chaos of the pandemic. And I started an organization um, called Go Get Your You Foundation in about the end of 2020. In 2021, we made it official. I got the name Go Get Your You Foundation from a friend of mine. She said, girl, don't, you know, don't, don't let this get you down. Go get whatever it is that you want out of this life. And it stuck. <laughs> And so that's where Go Get Your You Foundation came from. And it, it's a veterans organization. And um, what we are striving to do is help veterans that don't qualify or aren't eligible for some of the services that the Veterans Administration may have. And so we we are like the go between someone that has the income, but but doesn't qualify for services. Um, and we've been doing this festival since 2021. We started in 2021 once we got our determination. And I wanted to introduce the organization to the community in 2021. And that was the, that was the mission then. And so every third Saturday in June, that's when the Juneteenth Festival will be. And what we try to do also, being that I'm a chef, is pinpoint a cuisine that African Americans, you know, enjoy. And where did it come from? And how did it get here? And why do we love it so much? And so that's how that's how the Juneteenth Festival, Soul Food Festival, came about. Yeah, I mean, Juneteenth is really, you know, starting to uh, make its rounds. You know, it's, it's a lot of people... Uh, Margaret, that didn't really know that much about Juneteenth, and I, I feel bad. Unfortunately, I was one of them. You know, for when I was, a, I, I can remember like when I was maybe I'll say maybe seventeen years old. I mean, that was well, about twenty years ago, and um, it was like, uh, it was a question that was asked by my teacher. It was like around that time. It was like, do you know what today is? And nobody could answer. And I remember the teacher like just being like extremely like upset about it. And he said, it's Juneteenth. And, you know, after that, it, it made me like do a little research on my own to figure out uh, what it was. And of course, like we know that it became a national holiday where people actually are getting off work uh, yeah. over the last couple of years. So it's always a great event. 
and also what you're doing uh, for military veterans. Um, you know, my my older brother, uh, he's an army veteran. Uh, he did three tours of Iraq and Afghanistan. So, um, you know, it's great that you you are reaching out uh, to the veterans out there and, and giving them the support that they need uh, along with yourself. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that's that's helpful to you in your own right to be able to help others, uh, you know, that's a part of that, that same uh, elite fraternity there. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, the Soul Food Festival. Um, uh, this is the fourth annual event. Uh, you know, you, you all have been doing it for uh, four years, or this will be the fourth year. Uh, j- just tell us a, a little bit about the support and uh, some of the things that you had to do in order to make this thing happen, uh, the Soul Food Festival in Conway. Man. Well, it is most definitely uh, a labor of love. Mm-hmm. Um, and there have been times where, you know, I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> but then I go out and, you know, the Lord, he knows what to do with me. He'll send me out and he'll He'll make me see something that makes me want to continue my mission. And it right. happens every time. So I just, just keep going. Mm. And um, But it starts the day after the current festival. Right. In other words, when this festival gets over on June 15th, June 17th, that Monday is when I start for next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I go to personally, personally go to, I outline different organizations, different businesses that I would like to have sponsor. And I write a sponsor letter. And I physically go there because you can you can email it, you can mail it. But being face to face and having direct eye contact with someone, you know, representing your organization, there's nothing like that. And um, I go to different businesses. I go to I figure out what exactly I want to do, because every year, in addition to outlining a cuisine, we also we also have a theme for the festival. This year's theme is healing um, and making mental health a an, an important factor for everybody. Um, so I'll also decide what next year's theme is going to be. And I'll reach out to social media. I did this year and someone told me make it healing. And so I'll reach out next year or later on this year and ask, you know, what is important to people right now? Because you can't just have a theme and not input the community in that theme it looks better and it it feels better and you know that you're outreaching to the community when you ask them what it is that they would like to see um so once we get our sponsor letters out and i i research grants daily and i have grants sent to me Mm -hmm. and i have things set up so i'll know what's happening as far as grants are because grants are a very big part of making things happen yeah Um, we didn't get a lot of grants this year uh but that's okay it's still going to be a successful event because god said so um but we 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 got a grant with walmart uh conway walmart um And face to face, it was face to face. And I stayed on her that last day that I went there. She was busy. But later on that day, I got the email that it was approved. So that's great. That's all that matters. Um, I went to Dillard's in Coastal Grand Mall. I went Mm -hmm. to uh, Champs. I went to Costco. I went to Sam's Club. Uh, um, Some people reached out to me. State Farm reached out to me through email and ask for a sponsor letter. So, you know, you it, it's constant contact. Right. And loving what you do and having having the passion for what you do that makes things happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I tell people that all the time, you know, especially people that try to get into broadcasting and podcasting and they say, <laughs> you know, what, what's the, you know, you know, what's the hardest thing about it? I said, yeah. uh, you know, being consistent. I said, and also, yeah. you know, be willing to hear the word no sometimes you know sometimes you got to continue to press on like you really find out like what you're passionate about uh yes. when you're really 
embarking on certain things like you just mentioned. And, uh, you know, your, your consistency uh, is the key. So I tell people that all the time and your right. consistency, is, you know, has helped you uh, create such such a great event. And, uh, you know, we, we appreciate that. Um, also, like the community support. Um, what have you noticed like from year to year when you're having these soul food festivals? Uh, what's the turnout like? Uh, you know, what's the what's the reception uh, of you all in Conway? Uh, what, what are the people saying? You know, what are, what are they coming up to you uh, talking about? Are they loving the event? Are they always giving ideas or is it a mixed bag? What, what's going on there? It's a mixed. It's mixed. Um, I don't really be out in the public eye that much, mm -hmm. um, but people that have come to me have always said, you know, you do a, that I'm very ener energetic mm -hmm. during the festival or, you know, because I'm, I'm just so excited just to be able to do that. Um, and it's, it's the variety of vendors right. that, that we have there and the variety of foods and it's the, outline of, you know, outlining a cuisine, um, having a theme every year. Um, last year's theme was, uh, went black women, mm. black women. Mm. Um, the year before that, I can't remember what that theme was, but the first one was honoring our black men, right. um, for the first year. And so, you know, like I said, going back to people, having people, included in what you're doing it it they want to they want to see firsthand okay i said this i gave them this idea let me see what they're going to do with it right. and so i feel like this year is going to be the biggest year um because i've grown so much since 2020 right. and 2021 um i'm one of the vendors this year cooking I, I don't usually cook because i'm always <laughs> running around right. but, um i've put in work with helping businesses and and my son i started my son a business he's a he has a ramen business okay he's gonna be a vendor and so you know things like that people want to see things like that and right. and we're here to give it to them <laughs> 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 and that, that's awesome. That's awesome to hear. But uh, let, let's stay on the uh, the topic of cooking. Like, have have you always had a passion uh, for cooking? Like, is it something that you kind of fell into? Me personally, I, I, I can't cook. Uh, my mom <laughs> is uh, my mom is the, is the cook of the family, and, and I, I normally joke around. Like when she's when I tell her that I'm cooking some, uh, she gives me the old pot. She's like, you, you don't get my good stuff. <laughs> So I haven't reached good stuff status, but I'm pretty look. I, look, everybody can't be the, the <laughs> chef like you, uh, Margaret. But what what got you into that? Uh, what, what got you into uh, cooking? I did not want to cook at all. Um, my mom is a chef. My grandmother was a chef, mm -hmm. um, and I got my business name, Miss Margaret Soul Food, from my mother's mother, who passed exactly a month before I was born. Um, her name was Margaret. So, you know, I stuck with Miss Margaret Soul Food, but I did not want to be a cook because when my mom, when I was in high school, middle school, my mom was always at work. And I thought if I was a chef, I would always be at work and not with my family. So I wanted to be a musician. Um, mm -hmm. And it just it just fell on me. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, I, I, I made dinners and I sold them to businesses that couldn't leave um to make money right. and they loved it like okay wait a minute it's me. okay it's in you yeah, yeah yeah and it was it was just so natural it's so natural how like things flow like ideas flow the creativity of cooking flows mm -hmm. um i recently started going to uh Auguste Escoffier um culinary arts and i've been taking plant-based cooking okay so and let me tell you it is a it is an entirely different world with plant-based and yeah. i've incorporated i have my own seasoning so you use as many seasonings as you want so you right. take plant-based food and season it with 
great seasoning. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's funny you said that because um you know i've really been on plant-based uh foods lately you know i've been uh trying to work out kind of live a little bit differently i'm a, a type 1 diabetic so i have to kind of change some things up there so yeah I, I think that's that's great that you're actually uh you know getting getting into that uh but the uh, the event itself like what what things or what cuisines uh, could people expect to be out there uh, at this event um, well, the theme this year is Caribbean, mm -hmm. um, um, Jamaican food and, um, our wonderful sponsor, the Caribbean cuisine restaurant on fourth Avenue has graciously allowed us to use his parking lot okay. for this year's festival. Um, and so that will be displayed and it'll be a little bit of history of Caribbean and, um, you know, Jamaican cuisine with mm -hmm. the highlighted herbs that they may use um we're on the restaurant site so he'll serve from the restaurant um okay. i'll also have some some vegan foods and i'll also have some of miss margaret's you know usual foods some uh good old soul food i have some seafood mac and cheese that i'm mm -hmm. going to be doing um i have a vendor that is going to be doing crab leg pans okay um, and you know seafood pans and then i have a vendor we have three food vendors and the third one he's going to be doing pineapple bowls okay with uh fried rice um you get shrimp or chicken or steak um and he mentioned something else that he was going to be doing but i can't remember and so we have myself miss margaret's uh soul food we have um oh gosh reese foods it's Courtney Reese, who's mm -hmm. going to be doing the, the, the crab pans and Donnie's Grill. Okay. Out of yeah. So I can't wait to to be working alongside those wonderful people because they have wonderful food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, look, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it as well. You know, uh, just trying to, uh, you know, see what's out there, and make, you know, taste some of these uh, delicacies that's going to be uh, available. Uh, my final question to you, Margaret, is about uh, the event itself. Uh, what do you want people to come away from after they uh, take part in this event? Now, what what would be one thing if you can just put your, your, your finger on or, you know, one thing that you would want to tell the public? And especially for those that are listening to this right now, what do you want them to know about this event itself? For the event itself, I want people to go away with uh a slew of new friends mm -hmm. who um fellowship with their entire community um know who the business owners are mm -hmm. the small business owners that are doing their thing and presenting their products um i want them to to go away with a better understanding of mental health awareness and to take charge of their mental health um and understand the real everything about or to want to have the desire to want to know everything about juneteenth mm -hmm. um south carolina played a major role in in juneteenth which was way before june 8 june 19 1865 right um, so I want people to have an understanding of the entire event leading up to June 19, 1865 yeah. and to to be a more kinder person um, um, and, and have the ability to want to fellowship with their community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I know that, you know, people that come out there. Uh, they're going to uh, experience that and, you know, and also experience like some of the, uh, the atmosphere around there. And I'm pretty sure they're going to come away uh, with a with a positive outlook, not only on the food that they eat, but uh, also appreciation for uh, Juneteenth. Uh, so once again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the fourth annual Juneteenth Soul Food Festival uh, will be June 15th uh, from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, in Conway and is sponsored by the Go. Uh, get your you foundation um, once again miss margaret uh, thank you so much for 
taking a little bit of time out to tell us about the event. Uh, we at Radio Baha'i will be out there uh, broadcasting live uh, this weekend and uh, look forward to uh, meeting you and also uh, tasting some of the food and also getting to interact with some of the people uh, in Conway. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. All right. No problem. Once again, 90.9 FM, Radio Baha'i, Miss Margaret Harriet. Thank you.